After several investigations have been carried out, the State Security Service has decided to place the situation on hold, pending when the full report of the case is out. The DGSSS has assured all Nigerians that none of these corrupt politicians will go unpunished. The life of every journalist could be very risky, but no matter the risk involved in the job, news must be told, stories must be carried, and reports well detailed. I am a young journalist who believes so much in justice, fairness, and equity. I have loved every moment of this job, and there is one part of my life that has been left unattended to. rich or poor, handsome or ugly, successful or not, I just think it's time to find myself a wife. But whatever the challenges are, I am ready to face it. Baby, you need to compose yourself. My mom doesn't bite. Why are you worried? The same thing you said the last time I came visiting. You know what happened, right? Oh, come off it, baby. We're in university then. We're adults now. <sighs> All right, fine. I'm, I'm composed now, okay? After you. Thank you. All right. Should I say yes? Should I sit down? Should I stop? Oh, what should I do? Baby, come on. Everything is going to be fine. Okay? Uh, are you sure about that? Yes. I promise. I love you. I love you too, okay? So stunning. I do. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you, mommy. Mm. 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 Oh. Thank you. I must say, you look 20 yourself. Oh, oh come on, Olivia. Quit the flattery words. You know, I can't cheat nature. <laughs> Good day, ma. And uh, who is this young man? Mommy, that's my friend. We came to see you. See me? Yes, Mommy. Oh, <laughs> you brought business, eh? You, you want to take part in the conversation? Oh, yeah. Nonsense. I don't ask you to see it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mom. You want to be faster than yourself? Oh, Mom! Okay, sit. 
Say it. Okay, thank you, Mom. I can clearly recall who you are. Eric, you are the young man who will not give my daughter a breathing space. I, I have good intentions towards her, Ma. Olive and I are in love with each other, and she means the world to me. So, what do you do for a living? I am a journalist, Ma, and I manage with a newspaper firm. Manage? Did I hear you say manage? Olivia! Mom. Oh! Poverty is one thing that I fear most in this whole world. And I will never wish it for my enemy. Talk more of my one and only daughter. Look, Eric here cannot take care of you. You need somebody who is successful and wealthy. Look, I'm not cut out for this uh, try your luck kind of relationship at all. Mom, please, can you stop? Please. Eric and I love each other very much. Love is all that matters, isn't it? Besides, love is more important than money. Money is equally as important as love. Don't be blinded. Come on, darling. Don't be blinded. Uh, excuse me, Mom. Oh. Oh. Uh, excuse me, Mom. Mom. Eric! Mom. Eric! Eric! What? Eric! What? Eric! Are you raising your voice at me? So? Huh? Oh. Baby, please. Don't! Down. Don't tell me to calm down. You know, obviously mom doesn't like me. That I, I can't take care of you, right? I have a good job. I can be a proposed son-in-law. I'm poor, right? No, no baby, please don't say that. But you know what? She's not going to push me. I'm glad she made her intentions known. Baby. Baby, we're in this together. It is us against her. We can win this fight together. It's really. It's going to be hard.
this is just how Eric likes it. Okay, um, I think I'm done. I'm good. I'm very good, Drew. Okay, thank you, darling. Uh, Olivia. Yes, mom. There's this business partner of mine I would like you to meet. What did you just say? His name is Barry. Although he's in his 40s, but I know he will take very good care of you. <laughs> You're kidding me, Mom. Well, I told him you are single. You did what? Am I? Of course you are, and you know it. You are single. Or has that your poor journalist proposed yet? Anyway, even if he has, I know Barry will counter his proposal by buying you an expensive expensive engagement ring that is worth millions of naira. Mom, what has happened to you? How on earth have you allowed yourself to become a slave to money and materialistic things? Olivia, how can you talk to me like that? I'm your mother. Mother. I thought mothers were supposed to know the true value of everything. Especially love and affection. You're a disappointment, mother. I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry. How long will I teach you? Sorry, Matt. I'm sorry. You will never. Mom! Mom, what's the meaning of this? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Go and clean the, the stuff. What is it again, Olivia? What is it? Yeah. Mommy, is it not that your stupid Barry who has decided to run down my battery? Barry? Oh, how nice. Oh, be nice to him, you know. <laughs> Mom, what's that? Why did you give him my number without my consent? Oh, please, Olivia, don't treat him this way. He's a good man. Mom, 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 please. Mom, just please, just hold it. Let me be the one to decide that, okay? And let me just remind you in case you've forgotten. I'm no longer single. Don't give out my number to strangers anymore. What's that? If he calls me again, I will insult him. And I will insult his heart. Mom, please just tell him not to call me. And that was how they dragged me into the room. Four of them had raped me. I screamed. I cried for help, but no one could come for my rescue. Even when they found out that I was bleeding, 
They didn't stop. They kept on. They were gone punish. I just want them to have the fair share of the pains and trauma that they have put me through. I want them to pay for all the atrocities. <laughs> Come on, Barry. I wish you can just exercise a little patience here. Yes, I know. Just relax. She's going to give in that, I can assure you. Oh, Barry, Barry. Ah, why are you so impatient? Abigail. Abigail! Abigail! Yes, ma'am. Why must it take you forever to answer my call? Must I scream your name three times before you answer me? I'm sorry, ma'am. What were you doing? I was arranging some things in the kitchen. The kitchen? Oh my goodness. What is burning? My new pot of soup? So just... So, so we did it. I guess we broke our promises. I'm sorry. The truth is, I, I couldn't just resist you. I know. I guess I made you do it. No, no, I, I didn't say that. <sighs> Baby, come on, this is not a time to apportion blames, please. I guess I'm just a girl with a pure heart who is crazily in love with her man. Yeah. And you didn't lie about your virginity. Now that you have it, Eric, are you still letting go? Come on, babe. Sex has never been an issue. Then what has it been then? Money? What about my happiness? Why is no one thinking in that direction? Olivia, love is never enough. Eric, nothing is ever enough in this world. If you love me as you claim, then you should be ready to come out and fight for me. Fight for us.
Please, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I'm so sorry. Eric, you always keep me waiting. You know I don't like it, and you always do it. I, I know, and I'm sorry about it. Please, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is fine. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 Olivia, the past few years has been the most amazing part of my life. Am I missing? And I want that amazement to go on for the rest of my days. So, so I'm asking as, as humbly as I can ask. You made the right choice. I'm happy too, Mom. <laughs> Don't worry. Barry is going to take proper care of you. But what? Barry, your fiance, of course. Hell no, Mom. <laughs> Eric is my fiance. Heavens forbid it. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. The heavens are fully in support of this one. I've made my choice, and that's final. Olivia, are you out of your mind? What am I going to do with a journalist? Mom, Mom, you forget that your late husband was a lawyer. And that's the reason why I don't want you to make a mistake with someone likened to such a career. I mean, Barry is a successful businessman. Mom, Eric has prospects, and I love him. Olivia, please don't give me a heart attack. Don't kill me. Mom, no one wants to kill you. No one wants to give you a heart attack. But I've made my choice, and that's final.
I've never seen anyone as madly in love and so stubborn as you are, Eric. Mom, please allow me. Um, please, Ma. I hope there's no problem, Ma. Well, I don't want to be at loggerhead with my precious daughter. Because of that, I've decided to accept you as my son-in-law. But you must be able to fulfill all my desires and prove to me that you can take proper care of my daughter. Um, yeah, yes, I, I will, ma'am. By fulfilling all that is on this list. One, you must disengage yourself from any sexual act, romance. I mean, any act that will make my daughter solid. Two, you must be able to provide all receipts. I mean, all wedding bookings, receipts for cooking, the exquisite banquet hall, the very, very expensive traditional wear, designers' wedding gown, shoes and bags from Paris. Hmm? Yes. And you must make sure all these are ready a week before the wedding because governors and ministers are attending. Mom, Eric does not have that kind of money to throw such a flamboyant wedding. Then why is he getting married? Marriage is not for the poor. My fiancé is not poor. Impoverished, maybe. Mom, please stop it. Um, I've heard you, Mom. Is there any other thing on the list? Oh, yes. And every other thing is here on the list. So here. cannot fulfill all the things on this list. Mom, please, this is about us. Let us make our own plans. You've had your time. If you know what is good for you, Eric, you better fulfill all that is in there. Otherwise, the two both of you are just acting on your own. It's fine. Do you know how much it costs me to see her through school? Do you know the pain and what it costs? Oh, you think my daughter is one of those girls you can just see on the street and uh, buy a ring of 50 naira and call it engagement? It's, it's, it's okay, Ma. I've, I've heard what you said and I will act as I'll be instructed. Good. I, 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 I need to go now. Mom, I can see you don't want my happiness. Eric had better not change his mind about me.
Oh, I still have one here with me. Uh, your order will be ready for Sunday. And that will be 45,000 Naira for three. Of course. My daughter is not a cheap commodity. And that is why her ashoibi is expensive. Mom, what is the meaning of all this thing to do? Hmm? How long do you expect Harry to be at this entire financial body within this, this short time frame? He's equal to the task. I mean, that him face the music and dance it well with his agbada flowing everywhere. Mom, don't you think you're taking things a bit too far? I've not started yet. It's my daughter, my only daughter that is getting married. And she deserves the best. Mom, you're taking things out of proportion. See, my dear. Wedding is all about celebration, enjoyment, spending money. And not a day of mourning where you'll be regretting your financial expenses. Mom, I hope you don't get disappointed. Are you joking with me, love? Eric should prove to us that he is a man and he should be able to pass the simple test. Please, ma. You, 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 you can't do this to me, ma. You, you, can't, you cannot sack me like that, ma. Please. Mr. Eric, do you have an idea of the damage that your erroneous and incorporeal evidence has caused me? Now I'll be defending you in court on a matter I know nothing of. Absolutely nothing. My, my, I swear to God, there's a mix-up somewhere. That is not my report. My, my findings was different from what was published. Mr. Eric, few weeks ago, I noticed your lack of concentration to work. I also saw the way you were lost in thoughts during working hours. You know what, Mr. Eric? I'm giving you an ample time no, no, no. for you to go fix up whatever that is disturbing you. No, 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 ma. Please, ma. You, you can't do this to me, ma. Good day, Mr. Eric. Ma, ma, ma you, you, you can't stop him. Ma, 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 please. Ma, ma. You know how being a young widow could be so boring. I need a fresh blood. Yes, I know. So, any hookup available? Yes, 
<laughs> Let me go get him. Okay. <laughs> Guys, you see that? This is this side just do no market. Hi, Kester. Hi, Paul. Hey, Rena. Hi. Uh, Rena, what's what's up? Huh? It's almost looking like a bad night. What's happening? Did your friends have a meeting not to show up? Of course not. Okay, so what's the deal? Actually, Lady J is back. Eh? Lady J is around. She's around. That's, that's so much money. So much money. Uh, chill, chill, I'm talk. Chill. Uh, so, 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 what? Who is going? Paul or me? Rena, you know, you know my girlfriend's birthday is in a few days' time, and I can't afford to tell her stories. You can tell her stories for the gods. Guy, Relax. Go it. Guy, could I'm out for Rena, listen to me, Rena. <clears throat> See, Lady J is a very rich client. You can't afford to lose. You understand? Don't be biased about this. You know what I'm capable of doing? Rena. Let me run this package for you, Rena. You won't regret it. Rena. Trust me. All right, Kester, you're in. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much, Rena. Thank you so much. Guy, guy, chill. Collect shark and come. May yeah. I give you shark? Okay, really. Shall we? May yeah. I give you cool down? Ah! Yeah, yeah. You guys see you. Hi, Lady J. Mm. I like him. Thank you. I sure know what you like, Lady J. Similar views, just like that of my late husband. Wow, wow. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. But I hope my presence doesn't bring back bad memories. Oh, please. I've passed the stage. So, what's your name? I'm Kesta. Nice name. Thank you. <laughs> so I guess I have to leave the two of you to get acquainted. Sure. See me before you leave, Kester. <laughs> well, Lady J, you know what? Yeah. You are pretty mm -hmm. and endowed. Yeah. Uh, can, can you? Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. You. Um, I'm so sorry. I was trying to have an arrangement with, with Rina. She's demanding double pay of the usual. Apparently, you haven't made enough money yet to quit and start up your own business. Well, I'm, I'm only a jobless graduate who's trying to survive. Do you really enjoy doing this? What's your interest? Just treat me well. The table might turn around. Mm. <laughs> um, Lady J, listen. I'm in for the money. That is the only language I understand. For real. What if you have sufficient of it? Will you quit? Uh, Sissy, can we just please stop talking about this? And let's get down straight to business. So, how much are you going to pay me? Oh, oh please. Let's just go to my house. Okay. Come on.
Of course, it's going to be a fun night tonight. Lots of young boys. You must come. For sure. I'll see you then tonight. Okay, I gotta go. Hi. Hi, Rina. My wonder boy. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. I have loads of my friends coming to party tonight. Wow, wow. That's cool. You know I'm always available. <laughs> Who is he? Oh, oh. Yeah, oh, this is my friend, Eric. <laughs> We've come way back. You know what, Rina? Um, Eric needs our help. Good evening, Mark. Call me Rina. I'm, I'm Eric, Eric Jacobs. Yeah, he's Eric Jacobs. Um, he's Eric Jacobs. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you guys now. I want you guys to get acquainted. I'll be back. I'll be back. Hey, bye. Hey, Mr. Lainte. Oh, I to A guy, relax. Relax, okay? Just accept whatever she says. Understand? Mm. See, business is best discussed in secret. You understand? Look, it's your time to shine. It's time for you to make some fast cash. Okay, relax. Eric! Ma? Lady J. Yeah. Paul. Kesta. Lady J. Thought you said you were traveling to America last week. Well, I was disturbed. Got tired, so I changed my mind. I know what I want, Kesta. Paul and I are really getting along. I'm sorry, Kesta. Come on, you know how the game works. Very romantic. It's okay, eh? Have fun, guys. <laughs> Hell no! I can't do that! Is that what you guys do, here? Eh? Why are you raising your voice in my lounge? Don't you dare raise your voice! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that what Kester and Paul are doing? What are they doing? As this animal that you have brought to ruin my day! And rug you! Rubbish! Get out of my premises and I never want to see you anymore! Eric, what have you done? Kester. I'm disappointed in you, Kester. For seven years, for seven good years, we struggled to get out of that dilapidated world called school walls. We served and we went through the nuts to serve. I know we went through anguish. We went through pain, excruciating pain. You're gonna put that away to be a jiggle? No, shut up! Shut the hell up! Do you know what, Eric? You are just an ingrate. That's what you are, an ingrate! You know what? You and I are done being friends. Kessa! Kessa! You disgust me! Get out of here! Let me go! I will go! Security! Run out! Run out! Run out of security! Do you know what, Eric? You are just an ingrate. That's what you are. You know what? You and I are done being friends.
The perceptible discry of every job hardly tells of the prodigious and colossal outcome that it takes to achieve a great tax. But who am I to complain? When those who has made me return back to the streets are ready to pay for the live stories that I gather, irrespective of the risk involved, content and visible proof changes everything.
promising man that I know. You see, I've made him do what is right. Yes, you did, Mom. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Uh, 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 Olivia, wait, wait, wait. I hope you reminded him of the cowlick, chicken, turkey, stockfish, vegetables. Yes. <laughs> they must be present on that deal. Oh, Mommy. Ah, mommy! <laughs> Pray for life first, okay? I will be alive. I will not die. Amen! <laughs> ah, you can see that I'm a good mother. I know what is best for my daughter. <laughs> oh, boy. Eric is now worthy to be my son-in-law. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs>
Oh, I want a man tonight. I've heard so much about this place. I'm sorry, Madame K. But, but we don't do that kind of business anymore. Now it's strictly party, drinking, clubbing. You know the type of mood I am. Money is not my problem. I spend money lavishly. Today, tonight, all the money on me, I want to spend it lavishly on a very nice young man. Tempting. So what are you saying? Will you make a man available for me tonight? I, I, I am available.
A lot has happened within this short time of courtship. We've been there together, Olivia. There's been lots of pressures. The pressure has been so much. Actually, I started to doubt a lot myself. The pain, the anguish, and all the sacrifices I have to go through just to be with you. Please, Olivia. It's not been an easy road for me. No. And right now I can understand if you don't want to go ahead with this. Maybe I went through this the wrong way. But right now I'm at a point in my life where I don't care about any other person. It's just us. You and I. So your mom? Your mom has to accept me for who I am and wait for my time to come. I love you, Olivia, and I will always love you. Please. Eric, but this is not what I planned for. I, I, I don't I, deserve this. I, I know you don't. I know. Please. I will never let you go. I love you, and I will fight with the last drop of my blood. With the last breath in my system, I will fight for you. Olivia, please. Eric, stand up. You are truly a man. Nicole, what's going on here? Good day, Eric. Okay. I'm sorry, Eric. It was actually my mom's idea. She pleaded with me to go along with it. It's just a test, my daughter. Let's see how far he's willing to go to prove to us that he really loves you. I can't risk it, Mom. I love him too much. Can't you just accept him the way he is, please? I have accepted him. But you see, I want to be sure that he's not a gold digger who wants to take advantage of you. Because very soon, he's going to take over all that your father left behind. And we don't want somebody who is not trustworthy, do we? Mom, so what do you want me to do now? Just play along and make sure he's not out of your sight. Actually, I concluded with her that I will complete the payment. And then both of you can have your beautiful future together. Oh, thank you, mommy. And not only that, I've decided to give you 10 million naira to set up a business of your own choice. And both of you can have your honeymoon in the U.S. Oh. Am I right, Nico? Absolutely, ma'am. Thank you, mommy.
I'm so <laughs> I'm so sure of the word. <laughs> oh, I'm so grateful, man. Oh, it's all right, darling. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Side. 